Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will discuss about how you can find the characteristics function of the negative binomial distribution. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can contact me either of my email ID if you feel any doubt. So what is the characteristics function uh, of a random variable x? It is mostly denoted by phi of x. It is defined as expected value of this, where t is any of the real number. Depending upon the nature of this x, whether it's a discrete or continuous, you can expand like this way. If it is a discrete, then you can write as a summation. Why? Because all of you know that how you can find the expected value of the x is x into the probability mass function. So here you have to find the expected value of this. So that's why I have written here. On the other hand, how you can, de how you can define the negative binomial distribution? That is nothing but the Pascal distribution. Or it is also called as the generalization of the geometric distribution. We already discussed about the geometric distribution. You can see about in the I button link here. The probability mass function for the negative binomial distribution is defined like this way. That is, you have to get the success at, you get the rth success at the x trial. And in the remaining of the x minus trial, you get the r minus 1 success. And the corresponding probability mass function is defined like here. Where what is the R is? R is the number of the successes we needed. So clearly sees that if R is 1, it means we have to perform the experiment until the first success appears. So that distribution is called as the geometric distribution. So when you take R is 1, then this distribution becomes the geometric distribution. Now we can define how you can find the characteristics function of the negative binomial. There's a very simple task are there. How you can do? Look at that. This is the PMF probability mass function for the negative binomial. We can start with the definition of the characteristics function here. Now we can, since it is a discrete random variable, so we can open like here. Since you can see that this limit is from x varies from r to infinity. So what I can take is I can consider this x minus r is nothing but my k. k is any of the another variable so that this summation will start from my 0 to infinity. So what I can do that, I can take x is nothing but my k plus r. So wherever x is written, I can substitute k plus r here, here, and here. And the corresponding limit is changed from 0 to infinity. Now you can see the limits are changes with respect to the k. So this part is my constant. It can be taken outside this summation part. Also, you can see i t of r. This is also the constant, so it can be written like of this form. Further, you can see this part is with respect to the power k. This is with respect to the power k. So you can combine them. You can write here. This is the infinite series. So can you find the sum of the infinite series here? Do you remember? Yes, that's very simple. This is nothing but the sum of the negative binomial series. All of you know that how you can expand this. All of you know that how you can expand of this. So in general, how you can expand it, it will be like here. So what is the x is? x will be here. So in this case, this is my x. What is the n is? n is nothing but my here. So n is nothing but my r. So you can see this can be written like of here. Or since this is a negative here, you can write in this form of here is the required characteristics function of negative binomial distribution. Based on this characteristics function, you can also define the mean and variance, which is defined like here. Mean is nothing but the ex, variance is here at the parameter t is equal to 0. How you can find the e of x from this characteristics function? That's a very simple rule. We already discussed that. That is the general formula for here. This is iota. This is e x r. r is any of number. So if you take r is 1, it will be the mean. If you take x2 that is x square you can take r as a 2 so what you can do is this is the derivative you can take the derivative of this first derivative you can have you have to take the u upon v so once you take the derivative it will be here now you can see you can take i common iota common from the numerator and it will be cancelled from here now if you simplify them what you can do this part will be the common from here you can take this red color portion as a common and inside portion is here you can see this will be cancelled out, but is the remaining is 1 and you can write like of this form. Therefore, at t is equal to 0, what will happen of the e of 
x you can see whenever t is equal to 0 so this part is my 1 e raised to power 0 is 1 this is 1 this is 1 oh, sorry this is q because e raised to power is 0 1 and this is my q so you can substitute here 1 minus p 1 minus q is nothing but my p probability of the success now you can see it will be cancel out so r upon p is the required mean of the geometric uh, of the negative binomial distribution how you can find the next part is how you can define the variance for this you need the e of x square again we can define the e of x square is nothing but my here or i can write this part of this what is that this is nothing but my e of x and e of x i already defined like of this way so what you can do is you can simply sorry this is nothing but my d by dt so you can take the derivative of this one time derivative here you will get the second derivative of this here now since there is no need to expand there is no need to simplify them you can simply take at t is equal to 0 what will happen at t is equal to 0 you can see this part is again 1 this is again 1 and so on you can substitute 1 minus q is nothing but my p so after the calculation you will get here you can see from the numerator you can take p raised to power 2 are common this is p raised to power 2 are common and it will be cancel out p so it will be my p raised to power 2r now you can see again it will be cancel out it will be my p raised to power r now you can multiply them what will happen you can see if you cancel out it will be p raised to power r if you take it inside it will be p raised to power r cancel it is r by k p this is here and this is so you can see after this part it will be my r by p minus r q by p square plus q upon p square plus 2 r q upon p square now you can see this portion and this portion this is negative this is positive so i can write it as here you can take as a p square lcm what will happen if you take as a p square lcm so this part is nothing but my r p plus r q plus of q now you know that what is the r p plus r q if you take as r common what is that p plus q is nothing but my one you will get this expression this is nothing but my r so therefore you can find the variance of this as of e of x square minus e x whole square so this is my e of x square at t is equal to zero you can substitute here you can take p square as the lcm this is r square plus r q minus of r square so it will be cancel out r q upon p square is the variance of the negative binomial distributions so this is the conclusion of that you can easily find the mean and variance from this characteristics function too i hope you can simply learn and uh, you can simply learn this concept easy manner you can subscribe like share and comment on this video channel name is dr harish kark best of luck students happy learning